my god! Hello everyone, my name is Michelle and thank you so much for clicking on this video. If you could, please give the video a like before exiting and please consider subbing. Today we'll be watching the sixth episode, fifth, fifth, fifth episode of Jujutsu Kaisen, right? Fifth, 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 yeah. Six, no, I was right the first time, whoops. everyone we're gonna uh step it's the yeah it's the sixth episode of Jujutsu Kaisen after rain I'm guessing after the rain the pour down like I said that man literally just ripped his heart out threw that in the grass and let the rain hit it <laughs> that is foul funny but foul um so last episode we find out that Yuji is still kicking and i'm curious about how that curse knew like what what, what what how do you know how how do you know you sitting in a diner or like a restaurant eating and you just know that yuji's dead while well, people who are actually on the premises like people who know him they're like yeah he's dead but this random curse sitting up in this desk restaurant knows this dusty ass he knows he knows he's still living how does he know do they all like communicate does he have like a special power he can see across distances? Hmm, I, I, I didn't think that through. How did this man know, this curse know? Anyways, Yuji is still alive. I had a feeling he was gonna live. I do wonder if he's alive only because Sukuna like is bringing him back to life. And if he is the one bringing him back to life, why is he the one bringing, why is he bringing him back to life? And secondly, if it's not Sukuna, is it because of who his parents are? I'm not letting that go. I will always bring it back until they do the reveal of who his parents are. Because his grandfather in that first episode was like, you need to know about your parents. And then in classic storytelling fashion, the croaked right before he was gonna say it. Who are your parents? <laughs> This is all I'm stuck on. So I'm wondering if it's a Sukuna thing or if it's his like bloodline that's bringing him back to life. Either way, how did that weirdo in sitting up in that uh, restaurant know that Yuji is still kicking and people who are like, how did Gojo not figure that out? Like he's literally sitting in the room with his dead body and he don't know he's gonna live. Or maybe he does know he just kept it to himself. And speaking of Gojo, I... I'm now considering myself a Gojo Stan, and I'm actually watching my third episode in like one sitting uh, because I want more Gojo. I hope we get a lot of him in this episode. If we don't, I'm gonna be disappointed and I kind of wish I didn't sit down and watch this episode. No, I'm joking. I'm gonna enjoy the episode regardless, but I'm going to be annoyed if there isn't a lot of Gojo because I, I am a proud Stan. Yep, I'm no longer a fan, I'm a Stan. You wanna know why I started standing him? Because I'm gonna kill them higher ups. That switch up, that switch up y'all. I love a character that's laid back. And then they switch up on you like that. They show you it's range, he has range. I love a character with range. Anyways, let's get into this episode. Grab a drink, a grab a snack, whatever it is you like to do when you watch your favorite reactions, just get comfortable and let's get to it. Ooh, you're going into the hole. Sounded wrong. Why is the hole bubbling? Oh, oh, we in the blood vessels, capillaries, all that. Ooh, I see a spine. I see a rib cage. And we got Yuchi and <laughs> Sukuna. Uh, okay. That's a side of him I've never seen. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I guess Yuji said, I'm for the smoke. You killed me. Get your ass down here. So the, are they like in like a secret universe within Sukuna's head? <laughs> well, you killed him. Yeah, he's hostile. <laughs> <laughs> you don't do nothing to the man. I don't, I don't see you landing a punch. Yeah, but at least you could as well to like engage. Oh my Oh don't call him boring. <laughs> He's trying. We're not dead yet. 
事情が変わったのだ近いうち面白いものが見れるぞ Is he really strong? Are we talking about Megumi? Oh, is he really strong? And did he see something in him? Forget this promise. Oh, okay. 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 He said I had accepted. ニガーディジュースティケゼラーフ。ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ
You're teaching him. Yeah. You're teaching him. Yeah. You're teaching him. Yeah. Oh god, why is his face look at that? This is so cute. I love the animation. Oh, a spirit gun! Vampire Sengar! He should say Kamehameha. Or, or what was it? What was Vegeta's flash? Final flash. Yeah, watching movies can elect uh <laughs> oh, terrible French movies. Uh, what is that? Is that one of his cursed dolls, the principal's thingy? Why are you touching it up like that? Oh, you're trying to see if it'll come back to life and hit him? Oh. Okay, go back to sleep. No, send his ass back to sleep. Oh. We're going we're gonna make you watch movies that make you feel. Oh my god! Right? You just spoiled it. Oh, shh. <laughs> I just tossed that bitch. <laughs> I will say that is a very creative training arc that they got him going through. I wonder if he wants to come back for him because he was thinking when he said I want to come back, he... He... He, I like Sukuna literally thought back to that moment where he powered up. So I'm wondering what's going on with Megumi? How strong is, or how strong are you? <laughs> I just got this thing sleeping. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> What, what's this business this man is always running off to take care of? Yes. Yes, but he said, I pro promise me to forget. Don't, don't talk about it. He said, forget. Go. Uh, why are we stopping the car? Oh, the guy's following him. Oh, shit. Yes! Okay, let's go. What is he going to fight? Thank you. Oh, shit. No! Oh, fuck me. No! No, no, no. I literally just watched an extra episode because I wanted to see more. I mean, listen, I got enough. Go oh, my God. I'm so annoyed. I got, yes, I got Gojo. Yes, but I wanted to see a fight and just as we're going to get a fight. What time is it? Ah! Fuck me. I'm annoyed! I wanted to... I'm annoyed, I'm annoyed, I'm annoyed! I wanted to see Gojo fuck this dude up. Okay, I guess I'll have to wait until next time to watch that. But I did get I did get a lot of Gojo. I did get I did get a lot. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. And he knows. He knows Sukuna's up to some shit. Now what Sukuna is up I'm I'm very curious as to why Sukuna, I don't know if it was just a random flashback moment because that was the moment where Yuji took over, like he resigned himself to dying in that moment and he was able to claim his body back from Sukuna. Maybe that's why Sukuna thought back to the moment, but he was more so focused on Megumi and he does mention such a waste of talent that she ran. So it makes me wonder just how strong is Megumi, but I can't recall if Gojo thought back to Megumi if he thought he had 
the potential becoming just strong them because he said two people i don't remember this i think one of the guys name was okuro and then there was another guy or, or ok, Otsuro. I honestly don't remember the names of the two upperclassmen that he said Gojo said had the potential to become just as strong as him. But he also mentioned Yuji, but he didn't mention Megumi. But I guess I don't know. I honestly don't know because I think Sukuna sees something in him that Gojo doesn't. Not to say that Gojo doesn't see anything in, in Megumi. Maybe he just doesn't see the potential to become just as strong as he is. And as for these new characters, I'm still I guess I have to see them like in action, like fight more for me to like connect to them. Right now they're just kind of there and a bit annoying. Um I'm still confused about this damn panda. Like is, is this like a bodysuit that he's wearing? Like are you like putting on like a Do you know how you got them like you go to sports games and you see the mask. Is it like a mascot suit? Is that what this is? I'm a bit curious in that regard. Um, just as we're about to get that fight, I don't want to see Gojo. F that mother effer up. He done killed everybody in that. Burned a lot. Now I am curious about like when police come. Are, are I mean, how do you explain this? The only person who's gonna walk out is that guy from um who had the like traditional robes on like the guy he was talking to the cursed uh cursed dude i'm so confused as to like how, how, how wh 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 what do the cops do like csi what what you, you could cry like how, what what you what you what you how do you explain this a whole bunch of burnt corpses how do you explain that like Anyways, I'm going I'm to just suspend disbelief in that regard. Um, but yes, he makes a pact with Sukuna that he does not remember. And I feel like that's going to come back to bite Yuji in the ass. And I hope it... Well, he... I wonder if it, he had any... I don't think he has any control in not remembering. I feel like he wiped that from his mind. Like, because it was part of the pact automatically that's gonna happen like that condition is automatically gonna happen you're not gonna remember huh and i think he probably did that on purpose like he sakuna knew so he specifically did that so he wouldn't be able to say anything clever 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 man and i i think my I, at first like listen gojo's like my number one but i am very interested Megumi and I would say Sukuna is my number two but uh, Megumi in this episode just why Sukuna fascinated him makes me more fascinated in him like you know when a character that you really like is fascinating another character and you want to see what they see so now you're like a bit more in tune to them that's how I am anyways this is a good episode I hate it that it ended right before they were about to fight because I literally watched the third episode because I wanted to get more. And listen, I did get more Gojo. Like, we now know his, like, motivation. He wants to take over and start a revolution with uh, within, like, the Jujutsu world. I don't know if you want to call it world or, like, their little, like, how, how would you put this? Like, their order, like, the, like, Jujutsu order, like, the curse hunting order. I don't, I honestly don't know what you would refer to it as. But, I mean... We don't know much about the higher ups other than they're a bit trigger happy in the sense that they don't see the bigger picture. So I am curious, I wanna see more of the higher ups because right now we only know Gojo hates them and they were willing to kill, well they want Yuji dead and they were willing to sacrifice Nobuta and Megumi because God forbid something happens there and they die too. They were willing to sacrifice them too as well Hmm. I want to know more about them. I do. I want to meet him. And I do find it like valiant that he's like, listen, could I kill all these mofos? I absolutely could. But that's not going to like, one, no one's going to follow me. And two, that's not really going to fix things. Someone else is just going to take their place. The, and, and, and I guess he's like, listen, let me train the next generation. Select people I feel like the best way to, it's a there someone said that the world changes or like ideations change through parents teaching their children the right values and what the right values are is very much dependent upon 
you know, person to person to person. It's not like a blanket thing. Like what's a right value to me may not be the right values to you. But I do think it's very value. 